Can you hear what I'm saying now? Fantastic. My name's uh, Will King, and I'm entrepreneur in residence for this company called Fionic, which is a fantastic, innovative technology company, which Brian Smith is the founder of and developed some incredible tech which we're going to talk about today in terms of its application in retail, visual merchandising, experiential and the many different um, uses of it in terms of basically getting people engaged or involved with whatever it is you want them to be involved with. Purchasing products, experiencing experiences, even in terms of in the garden, how it might work there as a sound system, which is actually invisible. Now, I don't know if you know where this sound is coming from. So it's not coming out of these loudspeakers. It's actually being served from these four, what are actually IKEA tabletops around the room. And the clever of this tech is that it attaches to the surface and through a really clever, actually quite secret material called Turf MLD, which is magnoscriptic, it vibrates and it then makes any surface into a loudspeaker. And the real clever applications of it are in many, many areas. So what I'm going to do is take you through a journey of the technology applications over the past year, few years, explain a little bit what we've got planned for the future, and then if you're interested, take questions at the end, where well, I'll have Brian on hand to assist with any technical inquiries. So without further ado, I started my career in marketing and advertising back in the late 80s and that was when you had these sort of Kodak slide projectors that served images in conferences and events and that's what I started off doing actually, putting on events like this. And of course technology's moved on incredibly since then. You had very famous production companies, Imagination, Purchase Point, Spectrum, ICM, which have put on amazing exhibitions and amazing experiences. And I was lucky enough to be a business development director for those businesses. And then I was made redundant. Boom! Back in the day, in the early 90s, when mortgage rates were 13%. And I didn't know what to do and I hated shaving. And I came up with the shaving brand, we went to the shaving brand, King of Shaves. I don't know if any of you have heard of it. Put your hands up in the audience if you have. Fantastic. So I've shaved about eight billion lives in the last 23 years. And my degree was in mechanical engineering from Portsmouth Polytechnic. And I bought a product guy. And I actually came across Brian about 14 years ago. Um, when we tried to take this technology and attach it to a razor blade and vibrate it so you could shave with a, obviously a much smaller version of this. That was back in 2002 and we stayed in touch and I stepped down as King of Shay CEO a year and a half ago. I do a lot, a lot of things. Um, I advise an LA based tech startup. I work with my wife Tiger Savage in an advertising agency which she found she came up with a Lynx effect which you may be aware of and um, I love this feeling, technology um, and I joined Docs basically and have fun so I'm entrepreneur in residence with Brian at Fiona and we're looking at scaling and taking their technology not just into this sector but into other sectors too So this was sort of, um, I try to make things quite visual when I talk, but that's a bit of um, more carry around sound than surround sound. But let's just take a look at Big Ben. It's, it's an iconic um, piece of architecture, but actually visually boring until you hear, he hopes, New Year 
receive every year millions and millions of people wait for the bomb of Big Ben. And what is Big Ben without the bomb? It, it's just, it's a really tall Victorian tower with the bell of it, which is called Big Ben. Now, if you imagine having a piece of architecture that doesn't make a sound, or if you imagine something where there's no experiential of the sound, of course you've got the two eyes and you've got two ears, but it's only one half of your sensory which is taking in the experience. And that's what Fionic the Invisible Speakers is all about. It's taking visual amazingness and then making sure that people can experience the sound in it. And of course with sound you can have calls to action, you can motivate and invigorate and inspire people to be engaged. So um, again, imagine, um, this is just a very short film, hopefully it will serve in a moment. He says, here we go. Sorry, it's quite a make heavy presentation. But again, you, you have a silent movie, but what's a silent movie without the music? It's quite one dimensional. As soon as you say sound into it, it engages you and you can tell stories. This is of course how Lloyd, famous British comedian, who did these crazy, crazy stunts. Next, let's just come on to shopping. This is a show, it's about spending money, it's about engaging customers, it's about getting engagement, getting them to take their pound out of their pocket. Thousand people in to experience it when people started sharing out what was going on. Coming back to the call to action, what is shopping without the sensory? It's very one dimensional, it's very boring. multi-billion revenue business. It's just doing lots and lots of innovation and of course has Kate Moss, for example, sitting next to us in a green who owns it. Now, when they try to attract it, the target audience, centennials, millennials there, if you have singing, what is singing without the sound? It, it's incredibly one-dimensional. So Delilah sang in the window. She started singing and obviously the loudspeaker was the window. And literally two or three hundred people stopped, started sharing. And I think she was on for about an hour? Two sets of 20 minutes. Two sets of 20 minutes. In the second set, which came on later, how many people were there? 4,000 people. So that's the power when you're serving compelling content and you serve it socially into Instagram, into your Facebook feed, tweet it, um, Snapchat, all of these sort of um, engagement mechanisms that everybody now is familiar, a lot of people are familiar with using, you can really mobilise something which would otherwise just be really one dimensional and boring. And it's exciting. And the applications of it just go on and on. I'd just like to show you this one. Um, Sorry, it's a little... So, this is Selfridges, probably the UK's leading retailer to part the store. This is a Christmas installation where they put the bells in, obviously they're plastic, glass fiber, but then they serve the sound 
from attaching the geometry technology to the glass and hook to the escalators to the walls, and then gave that feeling of the Christmas and everybody's happy when they hear sort of bells ringing in the major field pipe latch. Remember often in stores, sorry, Musaki, and it's by um, I'll call it Anadon and Sound. But um, what are amazing installations without the amazing? So it's always a mixture, a hybrid of the experience which serves, you know, really gets people engaged. And in my world, whether it's being entrepreneurial with King of Shades, whether it's working with Tiger at our agency, if you don't engage people on all levels, you won't get them to do what you'd like them to do, which is clearly and obviously in most cases to spend money with you or engage in your um, whatever it is you're doing. The next one, I really like this one. Um, and not just because of the medium in which it's served, but it's also the message it's putting out. And I think it has a fantastic scale of scalability and relevance, not just in this country, but in any country around the world. It's about health, and it's trying to give people a call to action to check something out if they feel something's wrong. So I'll just run you this short piece of VT. Sorry, jumped. If your summer we know is a call for three weeks or more, it's time to see the GP. What we have there is a popping bus shelter. Now, one of the things just pop there. It's one of those things where you yawn because everybody starts yawning in the audience and you're coughing. But clearly, if you have a, a cough which is with you for a number of weeks, you might, might have something wrong. A lot of people sit waiting for bus shelters. And of course, the NHS needs to serve its, um, its advertising and awareness budget in a very sensible, cost efficient way. So this sort of dynamic 360 way of getting people something coughing around you and then you cough and you think, oh, I shouldn't be coughing. And then they had a GP who was there in a photo um, opportunity. They had leaflets there. And then one of the companies that Brian and I are talking with, of course, TFL, with the bus shelters, is you're now getting lots of data, trip, um, bus times, advertising, server. And if you can layer on a non-intrusive sound element to what you're trying to do, so it's not just an ad, it's actually a call to action, then that can again engage and improve the metrics of the campaign. And I think it's that type of so many different ways of applying this technology, so many opportunities that can be used. I like this one, this is um, actually shot by a past line. But if you have a look at this um, in terms of just simply how it's engaged somebody with something. consumer 
can give the brand the voice and the DNA, which is you know very personalised and something you're able to do with a quirky brand like Ted, as opposed to let's say something like MS, which would be very difficult to talk in a Marks and Spencer way. Whereas Ted Baker can use this sort of technology to increase the experiential and why people should shop and spend money at Ted. I like this one as well. Um, if, you then, if you combine the sound with a really compelling visual experience, you can really start to engage people. Um, remember these who are on the outside of the store, they're looking in, they're not inside spending, they're outside looking. And clearly that's what we want to get them inside, spending their money. Again, step there, activate that. Do something. Sorry for my dancing there. The point I'm making in this presentation is often we're told silence is gold. But silence isn't gold and where profits are concerned. And get, don't get me wrong, this technology, really clever technology, it's all about getting you what you need or want from your audience. And here's proof. Bionic technology delivers a sound return on investment. This is an analysis that Brian did with Peter Jones, where you had WW stands for Whispering Window, off and on, the passers by, and then the interactors with sound on, sound off, you can see it heavily up. The glances, people who look towards the window to see what it was, and the stop and lookers. Now all of those metrics are really, really good news for the retailer. Because I don't know about your lives, we are bombarded with messages and distractions and smartphones to look at and this and that and the other and it's a sensory overload. If you can serve a specific piece of audiovisual content at a point of relevance and get somebody to look towards it, then you caught their attention. And that's very, very hard to do in the world that we live in right now. So, if you need proof um, that this works, and it does, then of course, Brian, I think, would have done probably over a thousand, maybe two thousand installations you know, over the last 15 odd years, including this technology and improving it all the time as well. And remember this sound, this is coming from the loudspeakers and serving from the four IKEA tables in the corner. So that's just a little bit about the tech. I'm not going to do a techie bit here. Um, often when you have technology, people talk about the tech and people switch off and get bored. But what I'm going to do, if you promise to take care of this, I'm going to pass this around. You'll feel its weight or its heft. But in short, it's got a very clever material called Telephenol D inside it. That was developed for actually military application for using sonar to nuclear submarines. Very heavy. When you put a current through it, it vibrates micrometrically, very small. But because of that weight and the very small amplitude, which is about half the width of the human hair, it can serve compelling sound. So if I just just like to pass that around. It's quite heavy. So that's called um, an F1 Pro, and that's pretty much the workhorse of the Fionic technology deck. I'll show you how it's then installed. As you can see, this is the top shop window where Delilah was singing. And these are the Fionic units which are at the bottom, just pulled out in the um, yellow circle there, which they're powering the window. 
Now you remember with shop windows, a lot of them now have to be bomb proof, they're very thick, they've got to be, you know, very, you know unbreakable of course, so people don't go through them, especially with windows like that Harrods, especially the jewellery ones, so people can't ground break them. So that depth and heft of glass, coupled with this technology, which is stuck onto the window, that can deliver a really good bass sound. And the actual frequency width from the bass to the treble, Brian can vary that when we actually do the installations with each retail. Again, this is just when she was singing, and you can just see the Fionic unit at the bottom of the window. You've got to keep it simple and stupid these days. Wheel and stick. It's really that simple to install. I think this was an event, I think we had some Armada Bell there, where they powered a fashion presentation five minutes ago. It was me. Um, it's easily put in. Luckily, I'm nearly the end of my day. Lots of installations. If you're interested in seeing this deck, we can easily email it to you. Maybe you'll put it up on slide share so you can actually see it there. We can easily do that, I think, Brian. But it's been installed worldwide. Lots and lots and lots and lots of famous brands. Thank you. Lots and lots of applications. And if you go to Fionic.com, you can see a lot more detail there. And again. So this is just a few of the Fionic technology solutions. Um, which you can buy. Now I do have a piece of paper with some prices on it, but we can talk about those later. But they range from the thousand odd pounds up to obviously different installation kits. There are test kits, there are boardroom kits, there are lots and lots of things. And then when you, if you're an agency, if you're a retailer, clearly there are, you know, the commercial side of it can be discussed with the sales team. And if there's resale opportunities, there's a good distributor margin available. And then next, we live in a world of smartphones and then iBeacon tech. Do you know what iBeacon is? Okay, it's a way of basically serving as something to your smartphone to tell you to go and do something. It's made you look, made you stare, could help you try and make you buy. And what we're looking at doing is coupling the Fionic technology with an iBeacon um, solution. So when you go to a shop window and you start to look, it inserts a signal to your smartphone and you can maybe see that there's 50% off shoes. So that sort of immersive technology is really useful and important to retailers. So in short, hopefully I've given you some sound input here. Hopefully there's some exciting output, whether it's relevant for you of your business today or in the future. It's technology that excites. And as an engineering guy, mechanical engineering guy, I love it, and I love the application of it. But to end, if we spoke with our ears and listened through our mouth, then a kiss might be the most romantic sound in the world. So thank you for listening. This is probably the most famous kiss on the internet with 25 million views. For Brian and I, thank you very much.